Ladies and gentlemen, due to the fact that Achilles Heel Incorporated and SCWF wrestlers are not here, and the reason why you are seeing the picture, well, I should say poster, of Independence Brawl, is because right now, I'm trying to sort things out. I'm going to try to make sure you, the fans, get exactly what you came here to see. You wanted to see wrestlers do apply their craft in that ring. You wanted to see some good matches, and by God, you're going to get some good matches here tonight. I've already uh, put together one particular matchup right now. Right now, I'm working with some officials and some people in the back trying to put together a makeshift tournament for you. Because, God damn it, we're going to have a tournament because that's exactly what it was scheduled for today. So here is your, here's the first matchup, and I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy this match, because this match is going to be very special, despite the fact it's a bit impromptu, and it's going to be... Vindictator versus Iroquois with a special stipulation, and that stipulation being a first blood match. The first person to bleed will lose this match. Now, Vindictator, Vindictator uh, did not win against OJ in the uh, in the lightweight championship matchup and on the pre-show, but he has a chance here to beat Iroquois be the first man to ever beat Iroquois in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. He also has a chance to become the king of the next generation wrestling federation. Forget Achilles heel. Forget Sin City Wrestling. You are now going to see a tournament to see who is going to become the first king of NGWF and making his way down to the ring is the former core champion and the only man in NGWF who's been undefeated in 101 matches since 2012, Iroquois. Iroquois has definitely made some great strides in the NGWF and Vin Dictator definitely has his hands full in this match. Vin Dictator is taking a fight to Iroquois. Wait a minute. Iroquois going right after Vindictator. Oh, smashes him across the arm. Drop kick. Try going for another maneuver, but oh, Vindictator, he reverses it and does an incredible cross body. Oh, kick to the face and a drop kick, wearing down Vindictator. And another drop kick. For those who don't know, Iroquois is one of two people who came from the Heart Dungeon. The other being Miss Gwen, who's part of the family, who debuted, oh man, who debuted on our Independence Ball pre-show. Iroquois definitely showcasing the skill and the technical prowess of a wrestler who came from that prestigious dungeon. Look at this. He's taking the fight to Vindictator. But Vindictator, he, he's, he's holding his own. I got to give him credit. Oh, man. What is he going to do here? Oh, Spear! Spear! Now he's going on the top rope. Diving clothesline. Vindictator's all fired up. And he takes down Vindictator. Iroquois. Another Amazing drop kick. Spear! Iroquois is going right after Vindictator. Oh, drop kick to the face. And here we go. Seen this before. Bam! Knocks down Vindictator. Oh. Not a good idea from Iroquois' part there. Right now. I 
right now. Looks like Iroquois is now in control of this matchup. Drop kick. Now Iroquois going right after the head of Vindictator. He wants to win this first blood match and continue on in this tournament. Oh man, just a vicious clotheslines and now finishes up with a big time clothesline. Oh man, just punches him across the face. It's absolutely vicious. And now he's on top of Vindictator yeah, again and <laughs> just taking the fight to him. Whips him off the ropes. And. Oh! Big time slam! Oh! And there you, there you have it. Iroquois makes. The dictator bleed. And he advances in this tournament. The dictator did not bring everything he had in this matchup, mainly because the dictator. I'm pretty sure it's a little worn out from the match he had with OJ. Nevertheless, Iroquois, it looks like the adrenaline is wearing off at Iroquois, but Iroquois advances in our tournament. And ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna show you who is in this tournament. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this is our tournament. You've got Vindictator vs. Iroquois, that was our first match. Our second match would be Mystic Ninja vs. El Caballo Verde in a over-the-top rope matchup. Next will be Lucius Caesar and Deadman Jones. That matchup has yet to be announced, the stipulation I should say. And then you got Komodo Dragon vs. The Rapture. Definitely, this is going to be an incredible event for you ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be an event that, that's going to be historic. Not only is it the first impromptu tournament that NGWF has ever had, but every single match that has a stipulation attached to it. We're going to find out who is going to be king of NGWF. So, don't go anywhere. We're going to figure this all out. If Achilles Hill and SCWF don't want to show up, that's perfectly fine because here at the NGWF, we know how to entertain. And here we go with our second match. It will be between the core champion, Mystic Ninja, this is El Caballo Verde. And like I mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, this will be an over the top rope matchup. The only way to win is to throw your opponent over the top rope. Hence why it's called over the top rope. So, here comes out Mystic Ninja. He recently won the core championship back on last Monday. And he won the championship this Monday. Really, really great to see Mystic Ninja here tonight. And here comes out El Caballo Verde. Trying to win the NGWF World Championship. Yeah, he tried to win the NGWF World Championship back at Crystal Clear. World Champion Mystic Ninja. with this matchup and oh right away El Caballo with a power slam on Mystic Ninja and Bulldog from Mystic Ninja for champion taking the fight to El Caballo oh smack across the face right now clothesline El Caballo Verde now coming back with a vengeance power slam 
Punch in the gut from Mystic Ninja. Wheel kick. What's he going to do here? Every time he tries to get him the top rope, Kabali just fights back. Bulldog. Boots to the head. Punches. DDT. What's Mystic Ninja going to do? He goes to the top. Takes down El Cabalio with what looks like a headbutt. Very unorthodox, I gotta say. And he goes up at the top again. Moon salt onto the back. Ninja now. Getting a drop kick from El Cabalio. Now El Cabalio looks like he's gonna try to end this early. No, but Mystic Ninja. Manages to get away from El Cabali Bode. Kicks him in the gut. Quick screw neck breaker. And the boots right to El Cabali. Oh man. Drop kick. Doesn't look like it phased him much. Wheel kick. Again, didn't phase him much. Wait a minute. Now El Cabali throws down Mystic Ninja. Oh. Big elbow to the, the shoulder area. Ninja's now in control. Oh, running clothesline. Big time running clothesline. Now it's taking the boots to him. And throws him in the corner. Oh, man. And a foot over DDT. And up the top. Diving headbutt. What's he going to do here? Wait a minute. Double up DDT. Shades of hard points. Wheel kick. And here we go. Picks up El Cabali Avude. The Juggalo driver. El Cabali throws him against the ropes. Almost eliminates him right there. El Cabali is still in the ring. Punches him. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is Mystic Ninja doing? No! No! Oh my god! They just powerbomb on the outside! Mystic Ninja advances via powerbomb! Incredible! And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes out one of Jizzy Duel's newest clients, the Italian stud, Lucius Caesar. As you can see from the pyro, the way he's flexing his arms, or was flexing his arms, I should say. Look at that smug attitude. I don't know what Jizzy Duel did to this guy, but he's more arrogant than he ever has been. Oh well, we'll, we'll have to see if that arrogance can win him a match here tonight when he goes up against the let me let me see if I get this correctly the priest from the east dead man Jones there's, there's actually a really good reason why he calls himself the priest from the east I'm gonna let you guys see this for yourself I mean look at this look at the scars on that man's face Look at how he's coming out here like a freaking maniac. You want to know why he calls himself Peace from the East? Well, I will tell you. Dead Man Jones, for the past 10 years, has been going from promotion to promotion to promotion all over the world, preaching the gospel. No, not the gospel that you may be thinking of. No, the gospel of hardcore. I didn't even know there was such a thing. A man who comes all the way from Maine. He's, made, he's gonna try to make his name be heard. He's gonna let his voice be heard. He's gonna let his gospel be heard. 
here in this match tonight. Win, lose, or draw. Lucius Caesar is never gonna forget the name Dead Man Jones, I assure you. And here we go with this match. Oh no, Eddie Lucius Caesar's on the attack. The Dead Man taking the fight right to the priest. Oh, beautiful drop kick. Taking another big clothesline. Oh! Huge clothesline from Lucius Caesar. God! Oh, damn! Lucius Caesar is certainly bringing the, the clotheslines of the trap. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh! Just like that, Deadman Jones takes advantage of the fact that, oh man, Lucius Caesar only bought drop kicks and clotheslines of this match. And now Deadman has got, got him right where he wants him. Oh man! Taking full advantage of that arm in midsection. Now Deadman Jones is in control. Let's see what Deadman Jones is gonna do next. Oh, kick to the gut. Wait a minute. Deadman, another float over neck breaker. And once again, oh, it looks like. He's targeting the neck of Lucius Caesar. I'm not entirely sure why yet. Beautiful drop kick from Lucius Caesar. Can you imagine if Lucius Caesar wins this match and goes on to become king of NGWF? I will never hear the end of it from Jesse O'Duel. Oh man. I'm sure you the fans will never hear the end of it either. Wait a minute. Lucius Caesar bouncing him off the ropes. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh, slams him down. Looks like he's gonna do it again. Yes, and... Oh, looks like some sort of modified German suplex. Missile drop kick. Absolutely beautiful. Now <laughs> Lucius Caesar getting a little too ahead of himself. Dead Man Jones now taking full advantage. It's a Guri and an elbow. Right to the back. Knee to the face. Drop kick. Big body drop. Just smashing the elbows right to the shoulders. Man. Wait a minute. Oh. Lucius Caesar with a big knee to the face of that drop kick. What's gonna happen here? Big body drop! Knee to the face! Lucius Caesar is now in control, taking the fight right to him. Wait a minute, here we go again! Oh! One more. And one more time! Yes, right on the back of his head. Lucius Caesar focusing all of his efforts on the, both the body and the neck area of Dead Man Jones. Possibly looking to wear him out for a submission maneuver that focuses on the head area. Those of him against the ropes. Oh, ouch. And once, <laughs> once again, see, perfect strategy from Lucius Caesar just, just going right after the back and head area of Dead Man Jones. Focusing on those vital parts for a submission maneuver. It's the only way you can win this match. Wait a minute, and speaking of which, Dead Man Jones, he's got Lucius Caesar in a submission maneuver. Will. Yes, Caesar gets out of it with a headbutt. Big time clothesline. Some boots to the face. Oh, wow. Looks like a, some sort of hip toss neck breaker and now he's got dead man in the submission maneuver dead man gets out of it oh kicks him in the face big time clothesline wheel kick and elbows to the face pushes him against it cage and oh 
Wait a minute, Lucius Caesar, he, he, he's calling for something. I'm not, I'm not entirely, wait a minute. Picks him up. Look at the strength. Oh, throws him right down on the mat. Now he's going for a submission maneuver. Will this be the end of Dead Man? No. Oh, kick in the face. Lucius Caesar. Big body drop! Oh, that is, now that's just uncalled for. And, oh man, here we go! Picks him up, slams him down! Lucius Caesar relying a lot on this particular maneuver. And now Dead Man Jones has been busted wide open, courtesy of Lucia Caesar's foot. Oh, slams him against the cage. Dead Man Jones now getting some momentum going. Vicious elbows to the shoulder area. What's Dead Man gonna do here? He's got Lucius right where he wants him. Lucius reverses it. And. Oh, perfectly executed maneuver there. Let me get the ropes. And wait a minute, he's got him in a full Nelson. Will Deadman Jones tap to this maneuver? Doesn't look like it. Um, he's struggling. He is struggling with all of his might, but Lucius Caesar, he's applying that pressure right to the, the shoulder and neck area. Deadman Jones, he's in a lot of pain. He's, he's trying, he's, he's damned to get out of this maneuver, but Lucius Caesar, he's applying more pressure, as you can see, and he dead man somehow miraculously gets out of it. Oh, and a hip toss. Neck breaker, and dead man Jones is now at a mercy. Another submission maneuver from Lucius Caesar, and no, oh, gets out of it. Springboard cross body. And right now, he's going right after Lucha Caesar's arm. Wait a minute. Camel Clutch! Can Lucia Caesar get out of this maneuver? Yes! An incredible matchup between these two great competitors thus far. Just amazing. Oh. Kick right to the midsection now. Clothesline. Damon Jones now is going to take advantage of the situation. Throws him against. Oh, the ropes and a big time body splash. What's he going to do? Wait a minute. Electric chair drop. Absolutely vicious maneuver. Now he's working on the legs of Lucius. And wait a minute, what's he gonna do? Oh my god. Oh! He calls that the dead driver. But as I can see, Lucius Caesar is still alive and breathing, but for how long? Oh! Back body drop! Once again, <laughs> another back body drop. Hey man Jones's strategy obviously is trying to work on Caesar's back. Wait a minute. Punches and kicks. Oh, knee to the face. Caesar is once again calling for his finisher maneuver. Picks him up. Just a perfect form right there. Right now he's going for another submission maneuver. This submission maneuver has never worked in this match thus far. And it looks like it's still not going to work as Dead Man finds a way to get out of it. Kick right to the face. Knee right to the face. And now he's got him in a full Nelson yet again. He's applying the pressure. Can Dead Man get out of this full Nelson a second time? Lucius Caesar, he's applying even more pressure than before. 
Dead Man Jones has nowhere to go. He's flinging his arms all around and screaming in pain and an agony. Dead Man manages to get out of it. Knee to the face. And <laughs> once again, he's going right after Dead Man Jones. <laughs> Locks him up in that full Nelson yet again. He wants Dead Man Jones to tap out to this finish finish a maneuver. He wants to continue onward. He wants to go on to become king of NGWF, but can he make Deadman Jones tap in this specific match? He's applying more pressure. Deadman Jones finding all the strength he got muster. Oh, but big time power slam from Lucius Caesar. To put on one hell of a matchup thus far. Wait a minute. This, this is a this is a the finishing maneuver of Iroquois. Iroquois calls this the Black Wolf submission. It looks like Lucia Caesar's gonna try to win using this finishing maneuver, but no! Dead Man Jones manages to get out of it. Whoops him across the ropes. Once again, working on the back of Lucius Caesar. Caesar whips him off the ropes. Big time clothesline. Now he's taking the boots right to his face. And speaking of knees to the face, there you go. Another knee to the face. Caesar now, oh, working on the arm of Dead Man Jones. Dead Man now, what's he gonna do here? Oh, now Lucia Caesar has been busted wide open, courtesy of Dead Man. These two are throwing everything they got on one another. Oh, big boot right to the face! Hip toss neck breaker! Once again, Lucia Caesar, he's going for Iroquois submission maneuver. But it looks like Deadman Jones has nowhere to go. He has no other options here. It's either he has to try to get out of this finishing maneuver or submit to it. But what's gonna happen? De Caesar's putting on more pressure. Deadman Jones with nowhere to go is forced to tap out. Wow, an incredible steel cage matchup. These two definitely put everything on the line. And like I mentioned early on in this matchup, Lucia Caesar is never going to forget the name of Dead Man Jones because Dead Man Jones took Lucia Caesar to a whole new element, a whole new level in this match. These two put on. But so far the best match of the night. And here we go ladies and gentlemen with our fourth matchup. It will be between Komodo Dragon versus the NGWF World Champion, The Rapture. This will be a false count anywhere match. This is gonna be a huge matchup for Komodo Dragon. Komodo Dragon act and the Rapture are no strangers to one another. But this is the first time since becoming this new persona that Komodo Dragon has adopted that he has a huge profile matchup. Just imagine if he were able to beat the NGWF World Champion here tonight. That would give him a huge confidence boost and a huge win. Not just here in Independence Ball, but just in general. Time to put up a shut up for Komodo Dragon. But can he survive this man? Can he survive the rapture? He's be a world champion. Making his way down the ring. He successfully defended his championship on every single occasion. No one has been able to stop him. Mystic Ninja has tried. 
And even Caballo has had his time to try to stop the rapture. But every time when you think that this man is down, every time you think that you have put an end to this man's fate of terror, he comes back even stronger than before. We're gonna have to see if Komodo Dragon has the the will and the strength to put down Engine to be a world champion. So let us see here. And right now the Rapture go right after Komodo Dragon. Oh. Now this is not gonna be a very technical sound matchup. This is not going to be pretty at, in any sense of the imagination. This is going to be a brawl, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to see fists. You're going to see blood. You're going to see action. You're not going to see anything flashy from these two. Oh, big haymaker from Komodo Dragon. These two are all about power. These two are all about just getting in there. Just like that, just jumping on your opponent and just beating the crap out of them with fists. That's all they care about. These two, all they, they, they just love hurting and beating up people. Rapture, who's done some hellacious things here in the NGWF. Oh, man. Just make sure he stays at the top. And once again, he is going right after Komodo Dragon. As I mentioned before, back when the Rapture used to be called The Bum, these two fought each other both in a high-profile match for the NGWF World Title. Of course, Mr. Ninja got himself involved in that matchup. And these two also fought each other for the Rage Title. Oh! Big-time maneuver from The Bum. I should say The Rapture. And right now, oh, the Rapture going after Komodo Dragon. Since the bum came the Rapture, he's just been an unstoppable force of nature. No one's been able to put him down. Wait a minute. Speaking of which, here we go. Will Rapture tap out to the Boston Crab? No, he will not. This matchup can be... You can get a pinfall submission anywhere in the arena. But something tells me these two, they want to keep it simple. They don't want to go over the arena. They want to... Wait a minute. Oh my god! Oh! The Rapture putting Komodo Dragon through a table via suplex. But Komodo Dragon... He, 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 <laughs> he's one tough son of a bitch. So it's going to take a lot more to get him down than just that. Right now, it looks like Moto Dragon is at the mercy of the Rapture who's just taking the boots to him. Big body drop, back to body drop from Komodo Dragon who's now in control. Lock up. It's gonna happen here. Komodo Dragon now has got the Rapture. And, oh, sidewalk slam. Oh, the Rapture makes Komodo Dragon fall. It targets the arm of Komodo Dragon. Throws him over his shoulders. Big time shoulder thrust. Now he's taking the boots to Komodo Dragon. And once again, vicious punches to the face. More punches! Rapture is trying to wear down Komodo Dragon the best he can. But Komodo Dragon, as I stated, he's not going to go down easily. And Rapture knows this, which is why he's going to grab... Looks like a Singapore cane! Komodo Dragon wises up! Oh, but the Rapture takes him down and now he has a Singapore cane. Oh, smacks him across the face with it. Smacks him across the... Oh, back. Now to the side. The legs. Oh, <laughs> knocks him down big time. Smacks him across the chest. Komodo Dragon now has a Singapore cane. Rapture takes it away from him. 
Smacks him across the chest. Man. Wait a minute. He's got a sledgehammer. The Lord Dragon taking the sledgehammer away. But the Rapture now coming back. Wait a minute. He's going to try to get him in a... Yes, he's got him in a Boston Crab. Will he be able to submit? No! And now the Rapture has a sledgehammer. I'm not entirely... Oh, wait a minute. Now he's just brutally attacking Komodo Dragon with that sledgehammer. Now he knocks him down. Throws a sledgehammer right on top of him. Now what's he going to do? Looks like he's going to go and grab a, another weapon. Komodo Dragon stops him. Oh, running STO. Pushes him aside. Throws him down on his back. Now he's trying his damnedest to get back into this match. Wait a minute. The Rapture's got the ring bell. Komodo Dragon takes it away from him. <laughs> no. They're like two caged animals fighting over a piece of meat and it looks like the Rapture has that piece of meat and slapping him across the face with it. Oh! Komodo Dragon is anything but saved by the bell right now. Oh! This is an absolutely vicious attack from the Rapture. These two have been fighting around the... Uh, Spanish announcers told you people that they were not gonna go very far in this match. Wait a minute, come on, Dragon! Oh my god, the rapture with the cross body off the top rope! Man! Wow, just absolutely vicious punches! Right now, picks him up! One, two. Takes him down. Wait a minute. Komodo Dragon now is in control. Komodo Dragon. Oh, he was in control. Oh, man. Attacking the knee. Now he's going right to his face. Vicious punches. And now Komodo Dragon's been busted wide open. Injured WF World Champion is now in control. Knee to the face. Looks like he's got a chair. Smacks Komodo Dragon across the face with that chair. And there's blood all over it. Komodo Dragon's just trying to get away, trying to get his composure to try to fight the Rapture, but the Rapture is just. He, he just can control, smacks him across the, the back with that chair. The Spanish announcers have got to be very careful right now. Man. These two are just fighting all over. Wait a minute, what is Komodo Dragon? Oh, going to try to do. Oh, but no. I'm sure he was going to try to do something with the Rapture. He's, he, he, he's just brutally dissecting. Come on, a dragon right now. Oh, smacks him across the leg. Come on, a dragon now fighting back. Oh, punch across the face. Oh, man. Throws him against those steel steps. And. Once again, the Rapture back in control, punches across the face and makes Komodo Dragon bleed even more. Back body drop. Oh man, Komodo Dragon taking those elbows right to the shoulder areas. Wait a minute, what is Komodo Dragon gonna do? Oh, neck breaker right on top of the sledgehammer. Picks him up. Big time backbreaker. It's gonna be the end. One, two, only a two count. It's a 
Combo punches across the face. I can't believe Komodo Dragon is still in this. Wait a minute. The bum picks him up. Argentine backbreaker. And this could potentially be the end right here, right now. Pulls him in. The Psycho Express. One, two, three. And the injured of our world champion is dominant in this match. And he continues onward in this tournament. Bam, that right there, I'm pretty sure was the beginning of the end for Komodo Dragon. Not to mention the entire match, the Rapture it took any and every weapon that he can find and just dissected Komodo Dragon, not letting him breathe for even a moment. And here you go, the Psycho Express. Rapture walking away, the victor. this false count anywhere matchup. I didn't expect anything less from the injured WF world champion. The Komodo Dragon, well, he tried. But in the end, there was only one winner. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now in the semi-finals. And as you can see, Iroquois will go up against Mystic Ninja next. And then, after that, we will have Lucius Caesar versus the Rapture. Definitely looking forward to each of these matches, considering these four men right now are going to become, one of them is going to become the new king of NGWF. And here we go with our fifth match. It will be between Iroquois and Mystic Ninja in an Iron Man submission and finisher only match. As you can probably guess the only way to win is either through a submission maneuver or by doing your finisher and ladies and gentlemen what you are going to witness is a gonna it's gonna be a five star quality match Iroquois versus Mystic Ninja I mean let's think about this for a minute Mystic Ninja is one of the best if not quite possibly the best wrestler in NGWF. He is a two-time West Coast champion, a one-time tag team champion, and a now the core champion. He's also a former NGWF world champion. He, uh, he uh, ever since we started this new NGWF, ever since we bought we finalized, and ever since I bought most of the rights from Achilles Heel Incorporated, Mystic Ninja has been one of the biggest stars here in NGWF. And he's facing up against a man who is not only a former core champion, but is also undefeated in one-on-one -on -one competition. Mystic Ninja has an opportunity to not only end Iroquois streak, but to go on and possibly be the first king of NGWF. I mean, there is so much on the line for both of these men. Iroquois, I'm sure, wants to keep that tech, that 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 streak alive, while also wanting to become NGWF World Champion. Mystic Ninja's got a lot to prove because he is still, for his purposes, the number one contender for the NGWF World Title. So, considering everything that's happening in this match. You're gonna see something special, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna you're gonna see these two bring their A game. Oh man, an Iroquois with a drop kick. And I don't expect anything else from these two great competitors. Every time they have ever stepped into an NGWF ring, they bring their A game. They bring 110% each and every time. Oh, right now, Iroquois is in control of Mystic Ninja. Right now, what is Mystic Ninja going to do? Puts him over. Throws him against the barricade. And, oh, massive headbutt. 
Looks like Ninja, he hopes and dreams someday of winning the NGWF World Champion, bring that championship some honor, bring it, bring the championship back to the people, back to the fans. Iroquois, oh, with a spear. And now he's going, well, going off to the top. Mr. Ninja manages to move out of the way of that diving clothesline from Iroquois. Iroquois now is back in control. And, oh, big maneuver to the face. Oh, drop kick. Mr. Ninja has got to find a way to adapt to Iroquois' drop kicks, which are incredibly deadly. Iroquois uses every single part of his body as a weapon. Oh, right there. That, that pretty much sums up what Iroquois is all about. He is all about power. He's all about agility. He's all about, oh man, he's all about bringing the best in every single wrestler who gets on the ring with him. And same thing with Mystic Ninja. Oh, elbow to the back of the head. And DDT from Mystic Ninja. Kicking the gut. Got him by the arm. Slams his face right down to the mat. Looks like Ninja's back in control. Big elbow to the face. There you have it. Iroquois now coming back. With a vengeance. Slams his face right down to the mat. Drop kick. Time clothesline. Wait a minute. Iroquois going to the top. Took way too long. Now Mystic Ninja's taking advantage. What the Harakurana. Now Mystic Ninja is trying to find the oh, best strategy to take down Iroquois. So far, this is this match has been very back and forth. Wait a minute. Oh! And Springboard crossbody in the outside! Iroquois is now in control of Mystic Ninja. Oh, he kicks him right in the face. Iroquois is in control. And Oh, absolutely vicious neckbreaker from Mystic Ninja. Wait a minute, what, what, what is he going to do now? Another neckbreaker. And throws him right back in the ring. Mystic Ninja takes the boots to him. Big time punch to the face. Whips Eric Ray to the, to the tongue buckle. Oh, man. Elbow drop. Oh, vicious punches right to the face. There's a ninja now going on the outside. Iroquois looks like he's going to follow. Wait a minute, what's going to happen here? Oh, takes him down with a sleeper hold submission maneuver. And right now, we're about 10 minutes into this match. Well, I should say 9 minutes, 50 seconds into this match. And so left on the clock and so far there has not been a pinfall or a finisher. Iroquois taking that steel chair. What's gonna happen here? And vicious punches takes down Mystic Ninja. Wait a minute. Where's Iroquois going? He's luring Mystic Ninja on top of the table. Hopefully Mystic Ninja's smart enough not to go up there. Wait a minute. Oh Apparently not. Wait a minute. The Warriors Path Power Bomb on that damn table. The Spanish announce table has been utterly destroyed. Right now, Iroquois is in the lead. One to zip. Drop kick. Wait a minute. 
going top. And once again, Iroquois taking way too long. Missile Ninja capitalizes. Oh, man. The Mystic Ninja is back in control. Kicks him in the gut and big boot right to the face. Now he's just attacking him right where it hurts. Right in the face. Going after his arm. And wait a minute. Oh. Looks like he's looking on the, the head and neck area of Iroquois. Not only confirms it with a neck breaker. Wait a minute. He's got him in a submission maneuver. Will Iroquois tap out to this maneuver? He's struggling. He doesn't want to he doesn't want to give Mystic Ninja the satisfaction of tapping out. He is he's fighting and Mystic Ninja is putting on the pressure. As you can see, Iroquois, he, he's definitely trying to get out. Mystic Ninja is not letting him. Iroquois has gotta try to he's gotta try to think of something to get out of the submission maneuver, otherwise it's gonna be tied. And he gets out of it. Drop kick. Eriquay is now in control of this match. In control of the number one contender. Oh man, going right after the arm of Mystic Ninja. Just attacking him. Wait a minute. Mystic Ninja's back up. Punches across the face. What's he gonna do here? Russian leg sweep. And here we go. He's calling for it. Picks him up. Juggalo driver. And now we're tied one to one. And a spear. And clothesline from Mystic Ninja. Throws him against the ropes. Oh! What's Mystic Ninja gonna do from here? Oh! Punch the gut and another spear! Iroquois going right after Mystic Ninja, just attacking his arms and his midsection with those. Incredible spears of his. And another big time spear. Just wearing down Mystic Ninja. What, what is he going to do here? Wait a minute. He's going after the leg. He's going to try to make Mystic Ninja submit. Oh. Mystic Ninja manages to get out of it. What's going to happen here? Oh. Again, Iroquois, Mr. Ninja fighting on the outside when Iroquois is in control. So far, we are tied 1-1. What's going to happen in this match? Oh, slams his face down to the mat. Well, the ground. Mr. Ninja is bleeding. Iroquois is not letting Mr. Ninja take a breather, not for a moment. Now he's telling Mystic Ninja to bring it. Oh, kicked in the midsection. And throws him into the ring. Oh, drop kick. Mystic Ninja is now in, in the perfect position. Oh, man. Look at those vicious clotheslines. Iroquois is in control of Mystic Ninja. Mystic Ninja because he's busted wide open. I mean, he's losing steam quickly in this match. He's got to he's got to try to find a way to fight back and fight back as best he can. Iroquois throws him right down with an incredible technical wrestling maneuver. Oh, going right after the arms of Mystic Ninja. Now, looks like once again Iroquois with those big punches. Oh, looks like he, he aims to finish this match right here, right now. Wait a minute, picks him up. Warriors Path Powerbomb. And now it is two to one. 
three minutes, 50 seconds left in this match. Drop kick. Goes to the top. Oh, Mystic Ninja manages to move out of the way and a spear! Goes to the top. Big time fog splash. Iroquois is in control of Mystic Ninja. He's got him. Oh. Man. Iroquois is doing everything he can to slow down Mystic Ninja, and it is working. Mystic Ninja, is, he's been busted wide open. Getting blood all over the mat. Mystic Ninja now fighting back. Neckbreaker. What's it gonna happen here? Oh! Absolutely vicious neckbreaker. Kicks him out in the gut. And Russian leg sweep. And what is this? He he's got him in a some sort of modified sharpshooter. Iroquois, he, he's trying to get out of it, but Mystic Ninja, he's got him right where he wants him. And Iroquois taps, and we are now tied two to two. Oh. Absolutely vicious maneuver. We are now, we only have two minutes left in this match. Who is going to walk away from this match? We. There can only be one winner, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot have a draw. Oh man, he's going to the top. Diving clothesline. And jawbreaker. Oops, Mr. Ninja against the turnbuckle. Just wearing him down with those. Powerful spews of his. And here we go. Once again. Bam! What's going to happen from here? We don't have a whole lot of time left. Someone has got to walk away. The winner in this match. It looks like Iroquois. Who's going to do something. Mystic Ninja now is fighting back. 57 seconds left. Fifty seconds left. Mystic Ninja getting a chair. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Wait a minute. What was that all about? Oh! Newquay now taking advantage of the situation. And he's got him in his Black Wolf submission, Mystic Ninja immediately taps out. It is now two to three. 20 seconds left. Oh. Number one contender, Mystic Ninja, looks like he might actually lose this match. Five, four, three, two, one. And Iroquois wins this Iron Man matchup. Very intense back and forth battle between these two great competitors. Both brought their A game in this matchup. Oh man, Mystic Ninja. He gave Iroquois a, a pretty damn good battle if I say so myself. Highlights of this incredible matchup. Never seen anything quite like this before. Iroquois walks away. And he will face the winner of the Lucius Caesar and Rapture match. He's going to the finals, ladies and gentlemen. Sixth match. The 
this will be Lucius Caesar. This is engineer world champion, the Rapture. And the stipulation with this matchup is that it's a pinfall only match. I know it doesn't really make much sense to me, but that's what uh, the stipulation was. So, no, 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 no. I mean, I could change it, but eh. Lucius Caesar is down in the ring. I'm here sitting very comfortably in my booth. No, 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 no. Trying to restore my voice a little bit. This has just been a, just an incredible night for NGWF and for you, the fans. Wow. Here comes out NGWF World Champion here to face Lucius Caesar, the Italian stud. This should be a, a fairly interesting matchup. I mean,. Lucius Caesar is definitely talented. And, but the Rapture, on the hand, he's the NGWF World Champion for a reason. And that reason being that he is the best that this federation has to offer. We're going to have to see if Lucius Caesar is able to stand toe to toe with the Rapture. If he, even, if he beats him. I mean, imagine that, that victory. And here we go. Oh, Lucius Caesar is not wasting any time going right after the Rapture, taking the boots right to him. Anyway, now, Rapture has got him in a sleeper hold. It's a little too early to start applying the submission maneuvers, Rapture. Lucius Caesar is now going after the Rapture. The Rapture now. Picks him up. What's gonna happen? Oh, goes straight for his knee. What's gonna happen here? And oh, vicious hip toss. Going right after his face, punching him right in the just repeatedly. Oh, big time power slam from Lucius Caesar. Caesar now is in control. Grabs the bomb. And oh, massive headbutt. Rapture throws him right down to the ground. What's gonna happen from here? Punches him. Continuously punching him. Oh man! Rapture now. Vicious punches to the face. More punches to the face. <laughs> Clash of styles here. Lucius Caesar likes to be a lot more technical. He likes to take his time. Rapture on the hand. It's all about the literal violence. It's all about getting in there. Getting down and dirty with these punches. Kicks. And Nothing about the Rapture is pretty. He's not a technical sound wrestler in the slightest. Oh, <laughs> see? Every time Lucius Caesar tries to get some offense, Rapture just pushes him down and starts wailing on him. Now we're going out at the head of oh, Lucius Caesar. More punches right to the face. What's gonna happen from here? Wait a minute, Lucius Caesar get right behind Rapture. Rapture right in front of Caesar. Yep. Power slam. Rapture now is in control. Taking big boots right to the face. Wait a minute, Caesar now. He's now back in control. And Spine Buster! She sees him now. Right after the arm of the Rapture. Big clothesline. Mr. Caesar is stinking definitely. 
bringing uh, his A game against uh, Apache. Definitely staying toe to toe with him. Big time back suplex. Caesar now. What is he doing? He's off the ropes. Oh, wow. Cross body into the ropes, choking the rapture. Busted Lucia Caesar wide open. Oh man. Big time clothesline. He's got to be very happy knowing that Lucia Caesar can stand toe to toe with the Rapture. Wait a minute. Here we go. Argentine backbreaker. Rapture now in control. He's going for a pin. One. Only a one count. Slam Caesar right down to the mat. He's got the tone buckle. What's he gonna do here? Send him up for something. Wait a minute. Spins him around. Oh! Absolutely vicious maneuver. One, two, three. And this match is over. Well. Lucius Caesar, he tried his best in this matchup, but I think that match he had with Deadman Jones took a lot more out of him than he wanted to admit, but he stood he, he stood his ground against the Rapture, that is for sure. He, he, he definitely brought his technical savvy in this match, but in the end, I mean, just look at this. Boom! Right there was the end of this match. Rapture picking up a big victory here at Independence Brawl. Now we're going to get ready for our main event match. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final match of the evening. This is our main event match. It will feature Iroquois versus the NGWF World Champion, The Rapture. We're going to crown the very first king of NGWF. Will it be Iroquois or will it be The Rapture? Well, we're going to have to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, this matchup will be a two out of three falls match, and it will be Extreme Rules. Coming down the ring is Iroquois. He will be facing the Rapture. And as you can tell from the cage above us, this will be a steal. Cage match. Iroquois definitely has his work cut out for him as he's got to go up against the injured of the world champion. Can he beat him? Well, we're going to have to find out. Here it comes out. Rapture. Rapture not only has a chance. Every world champion who also become the king of NGWF. This has got to be a huge, huge match for the Rapture. This is definitely gonna be on his mind as much as this is gonna be on the mind of Iroquois. There can only be one king. We're gonna find out who is gonna be. Here we go. And 
Iroquois going on the attack against the Rapture. Oh, drop kick. The Rapture's gotta, he's gotta adapt to Iroquois' fighting style. He's gotta adapt to his agility. He's gotta adapt to his strength. Oh! And Iroquois also gotta adapt to the fact that Man, he's also got to adapt to the fact that Rapture is a ruthless competitor. But right now, Iroquois is just taking the fight right to the Rapture, throwing him against the steel cage and out of these clotheslines. Wait a minute. Oh! Right now, it looks like he's going for a submission maneuver this early on. Not a smart idea. Rapture. Looking like he oh gets another drop kick back to the face. He's gotta find a way to get back into this thing. Oh! It's slammed up against the, the cage. More vicious clotheslines. Absolutely brutal. I mean, he's going up top. The Rapture taking full advantage of it. I mean, what's gonna happen here? Looks like a superplex! Big time superplex maneuver from the Rapture. Picks him up. Oh! Back body drop. Yeah, back suplex, I I'm sorry. Oh, he's in the corner. What's he gonna do here? Wait a minute. Oh, super back suplex. Picks him up. Power slam. Oh, big time spear. Now she's got to be wary of those spears. And that can go. Iroquois once again throws him against the steel cage. Got him. Picks him up. Goes right after his knee. Interesting strategy. Oh. But he's got to do something about Iroquois' spears if he hopes to win this match because that is one of Iroquois' deadliest maneuvers. Oh, man. He loves to wear down opponents with that particular maneuver. Rapture's got to fight some way. Oh, here we go. Rapture right on top of him. Punching him right in the face. Big time spear. And once again, Rapture going right out to the eyes. And a shoulder block. Now this has been an interesting back and forth battle with no pinfalls and no submissions just yet. Oh! Firmly behind him. Oh, shoulder block from the Rapture. Wait a minute, what is the Rapture gonna do here? And back suplex. Powerful back suplex. A very powerful drop kick from Iroquois. Wait a minute. And Iroquois with a moonsault. Well, he tried to go for a moonsault, but Rapture gets out of the way. And a spear! And, oh, jawbreaker from the Rapture. And what is he gonna do here? Picks him up. Another back suplex. These two wrestlers just rely on what they know. They've got to be tired from all the, ma all the other matches they've had thus far. Pretty sure Iroquois is feeling the effects of the matches he's been in. Especially on that match he had with Mystic Ninja. And here we go. He's got him in a vice grip just wearing him down. Oh, he throws him down to the ground. And wheelbarrow face buster. Don't see that very often from Iroquois. 
Oh, ho, ho, perfect. Opportunity to do a spear right there. And we, here we go. Not even a one count. Now, throws him down to the ground. Oh. Throws him out against the cage yet again. Wait a minute, Iroquois. Oh, drop kick right to the face. Spear. He's targeting the arms in midsection of the rapture. Now they lock up. Iroquois takes down the rapture. Here we go. Series of punches and boom! And the rapture has been busted wide open. Here we go. The Black Wolf submission maneuver. Will the rapture tap? If he does, Imagre is going to get a point in this match. Rapture trying to fight everything. Fight off this submission maneuver veteran he's got. But he has no choice and he taps out. It's now one to zero. Okay, getting a little too ahead of himself. And the Rapture is capitalizing. Going right after the knees of Iroquois. That's what do here. Now he's going up in the arms. Interesting strategy from the Rapture. Oh, once again going after the arms. Relax handle. Oh, drop kick from Iroquois. Here we go. Rapture's got him and Headlock picks him up. Body slam. Now he's taking the fight to Iroquois. Oh, kick to the gut. Once again, he's got him. Oh, but right to the face and Furious punches. Shoulder tackle. Here now. Oh, kicks him right lane. He's in the tumble pit. Oh, just grinding the knee right in his face. Oh, series of punches. Picks him up. Oh, slams him down. Rapture now in control of Iroquois. Oh! Just dissecting him. Using his brute strength. He just wear down Iroquois, taking the fight to his arms, trying to eliminate his chances of doing a spear. And here we go! Thing is going to try to make Iroquois tap in this camel clutch. Will he be able to do it? I don't know. Iroquois, he, he is. He's trying to fight it out. And here we go. Will he do it? And... Iroquois submits. And now we're tied 1-1 in this 2 out of 3 falls matchup. Iroquois slams his head down to the ground. Once again targets his head area. Oh, man. Wait a minute, the Rapture picks him up! Oh! Roger a team backbreaker, this has got to be it. No, not even a one count. Spear! Dropped it to the face again. And Trying to go from the maneuver there, but it just didn't work out. Oh, not for taking advantage of slamming down to the mat. Oh, throws him in the corner. What's he gonna do? Oh, series of clotheslines and again, the more like clubbing blows. Now he's taunting the rapture to get up. Oh, with the face palm. 
Now he picks him up, gives the bum a taste of his own medicine by going right after his knee. Oh, kick to the face. Drop kick. And drop kick to the head. Oh, the Raps are taking advantage yet again. What do you do? Right after his legs, it looks like he's got him in an ankle lock. Picks him up. Running power slam. Oh. And huge clothesline. Will it work? Kicks him in the gut. Pulls him in. Picks him up. Slams him down with authority. Only a one count. Aaron Quay now on the attack. He's got a second life in him. And now he is taunting. He's getting ready for it. And Warriors Path Power Bomb. One, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, the first ever king of NGWF, Iroquois. A tremendous main event matchup. Oh man, just look at, look at the ruthless intentions of Rapture. He tried to defeat Iroquois, but Iroquois got a second win. And he defeats the Rapture here tonight. Warriors Path Powerbomb, and from there, it was over. Cannot believe this, ladies and gentlemen. We have our very first King of MGWF. Congratulations, Iroquois. These fans are firmly behind this incredible wrestler. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for tuning in for Independence Brawl.